In this video, we'll highlight the top 10 things. Activities in Berlin, the nation's capital and one of Europe's major centers for history and art. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Below are our top 10 choices. Number 10, Checkpoint Charlie and the Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall was 3.6 meters or 12 feet tall. Over 87 miles or 140 kilometers long physical wall between Berlin's east and west. What began as a simple wire barrier dividing the city between the western controlled and Soviet run side zone in 1961, it changed into the wall. Although the majority of the wall has been destroyed after the revolution of 1989 this ultimately resulted in the unity of both Germanys all across Berlin, you can still see remnants of the wall. Visit the one and only Checkpoint Charlie, a border crossing that welcomed visitors and Allied forces personnel to cross. The checkpoint was utilized by many East Germans. In order to leave East Germany, there are numerous museums and other locations in Berlin dedicated to the atrocities that took place there throughout the 20th century. The Berlin Wall is one of the must-see sites in the East Side Gallery. This is one of the world's longest open-air galleries. More than 0.8 miles, or 1.3 kilometers of a wall's preserved section. The art was produced by more than 100 artists. Remember to come to a stop in front of the KISS, a well-known graffiti piece. Visit the Berlin Wall Memorial as well. The Wall Museum, too. The topography of Terror Museum's entrance, there is a portion of the Berlin Wall that has been preserved beautifully. For additional details, see our travel guide. 1009, Brandenburg Gate, this 18th century entrance to Berlin was once there is among the most well-known symbols of the city. The Brandenburg Gate's peak is crowned with a chariot statue four horses pull the cart, depicting the victory goddess. The gate was accessible to all in 1918. The German royal family alone. Attention has been focused on the gate. Numerous historical occasions, from Nazi rituals and marches to royal parades. People gathered when the Berlin Wall came down. At the entrance to rejoice. 1008, Markthal Noon, the renowned Market Hall 9, also in 1891, a covered market was built. Opened again in 2011. Whether you desire a genuine German buy organic fresh vegetables for your supper, or a purchase at a flea market, or take in the environment, it's a pleasure to visit Market Halle Noon. Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are ideal days to visit. You'll arrive just in time for the customary a weekly market with fresh foods like beef, even artisan beer, or perhaps you'll attend in time to experience their additional theme festivals devoted to anything from coffee to beer. Reichstag Building, Number 7 Where the German Parliament is located from the Nazi regime's arson to the official Germany's unification in 1990, the Reichstag has witnessed historical events. Reichstag is a fascinating architectural structure. It's well known for the inscription on the front, the phrase Dem Duchen invoked to the people of Germany in addition to a huge glass dome, providing fantastic cityscapes in the distance and the Parliament can be seen clear through. And further illustration of eco-architecture is the glass dome, because it uses energy sustainably. Aside from viewing art collections, permanent displays inside the structure or enjoy a barbecue on the lawn in front of the Reichstag. You can go to the glass dome if you like. Ensure you have a ticket reservation to go to Reichstag beforehand as they frequently run out. Also, don't overlook the Soviet War Museum. Memorial as well as the Victory Column with its expansive vista of Berlin, both of which are nearby. 36th, Museum Island. Five museums make up the Museum Island Complex. Located in Berlin on a genuine island. The five institutions are as follows. The Neues Museum, the Altes Museum, Bode Museum as well as the Old National Gallery. The island is a part of the World Heritage Sites list and reopened in 2009 by UNESCO following its extensive World War II devastation. 
The Altas Museum was the very first museum. It first opened in 1830, and each of the five was finished in 1930. The entry is located in the James Simon Gallery, a structure housing a variety of art and display spaces. Each museum's collection varies, ranging from Islamic medieval sculptures to contemporary works of art amazing creations by artists like, among others, Monet and Renoir. There are plenty additional amazing museums in Berlin. Visit our travel guide for additional recommendations. As soon as you reach Museum Island, see the magnificent Berlin Cathedral from the 1800s close to the Altas Museum and make sure to take a cruise on one of River Spree Canals in Berlin. Did you know, incidentally, that Berlin has more than 180 kilometers or 112 miles of rivers? Which is greater than Amsterdam or Venice? Do not overlook nearby attractions. Island of the Museum Visit our travel guide for additional recommendations. Berlin Television Tower, positioned 5 over 1,200 feet or 368 meters high, Berlin, Germany's tallest building is the TV Tower. In what was formerly East Berlin, in 1969, the tower was constructed. As a representation of the German Democratic Republics, the Soviet-run portion of Germany dominates. Visit the viewing platform for breathtaking panoramas, cityscape views, and if you get hungry while gazing at the city, you can go to the Sphere Revolving Restaurant, actually providing a 360-degree picture of Berlin. Also, remember to look down below the TV tower. Investigate Alexanderplatz, Berlin's largest and busiest public square, using the well-known World Time Clock, a timepiece that displays the time for all 24 global time zones. 1004 Jewish Museum, the German Jewish Bond, is highlighted in the largest Jewish museum in Europe. The Jewish Museum boasts displays on individual stories concerns related to the Holocaust and migration and persecution in Germany. A location too. Remember is what it aspires to be. From its zigzag patterns to its magnificent facade, the structure itself is full with symbolic meaning and shares several Jewish tales, even designs like Garden de Exils, Hitler Tower, and more art displays, such as fallen leaves in the darkness of memory visitors are urged to continue walking their iron faces cause the room to reverberate. Other locations in Berlin are worth visiting. To the Holocaust, as an illustration, the memorial to Europe's murdered Jews where you'll stroll alongside enormous concrete slab rows used as memorials. It serves as a site of commemoration for the Europe's exterminated Jews. Memorial to LGBTQ people who were victimized under the Nazi Germany, a short distance from the Jewish memorial. Or a memorial to the victims of the Sinti and Roma throughout the Nazi era, situated not far from Brandenburg Gate. A website called the Topography of Terror shows the images and proof of the crime's Nazi persecution, among other things. The location was formerly a headquarters the Gestapo, the Upper Command, and the SS Security Service. By the way, admission to the museum is free. Charlottenburg Palace, position 3 Charlottenburg is a vacation destination. A project for Sophie Charlotte, the country's first monarch consort. Although it was first called Lietzenburg when Sophie Charlotte passed away in 1705, the palace despite not being finished, she inspired the naming of the palace. The palace was kept up properly, but a large during World War II, a portion was damaged. The castle was constructed in a Baroque manner. Charlottenburg has various locations for you to visit. Can travel and understand how life was for the era's royals, including the museum, an exhibition showcasing the Prussian royal family and the rulers who lived there, the king and queen. English-style gardens are a well-liked location for concerts and various social gatherings. A tea house and tiny lawn called Belvedere featuring a view of the Spree River. Erected a mausoleum for Queen Louise, another Prussian queen, Queen of Hearts moniker because her people loved her so much. Lakes and the River Spree, where you can relax and pass the day relaxing by the ocean. Did you know that you may visit the gardens that are free? 
Number 2, Botanical Museum and Garden It was built in 1910. There is a Berlin Botanical Garden. With the intention of creating the world in a garden, the website presently has over 20,000 visitors. Over 100,000 acres of various plant species, approximately 40 square meters, 23m or 75 foot tall, and over 60 meters long. One of the tropical greenhouses is the world's biggest greenhouses. Currently, there are 16 greenhouses overall, each providing a unique array of plants, as well as a unique plant. You never get to the botanical garden. Whatever the time is here, there are additional magnificent parks, as well as parks in Berlin. Visit our travel guide for additional recommendations. Alternative culture, at number one Berlin, is one of the major centers for a different culture. It also covers nightlife and street art, a thriving underworld scene. The city has consistently undergone self-reinvention since the Berlin Wall's collapse, and evidence of this can be found in a variety of subcultures, as well as the presence of graffiti art in neighborhoods such as the Kreuzberg or Friedrichshain area and other locations. Many neighborhoods underwent gentrification. Here are some of the top locations and areas. In some way related to alternative culture, the following are must-sees while in Berlin. Temple Raw, an old train hub with pubs, graffiti, and other amenities. Don't miss the urban spree, by the way. If you have time, see the gallery. Graffiti, which probably began due the Berlin Wall, inspired artists as a vast empty canvas in order to disseminate their message. There are numerous locations with fantastic graffiti all across. Consider the Graffiti Corner in Berlin. World Trash Center, one of the holes marked locations holiday market for additional details, see our travel guide. What are some of the top destinations? And take in the underground scene in Berlin. 